this is the speaker actually right here okay okay so thanks for being here everyone um obviously we always try to bring new opportunities to the office and uh, allow you to use systems or uh, basically the companies that can help you increase your business today we got gary gary naska is uh, one of the people that has a lot of experience in real estate industry especially in commercial division and now uh, you know they have a system that helps us to network uh, with commercial and residential agents that's going to help you be able to do more business uh, this year. So I, I, I appreciate Gary for being here and I'm going to leave the floor to you. I want to thank you Thanks for uh, introducing me and uh, inviting us to come in here. And I notice we're outnumbered by the ladies in the group here. Yeah, we only hire ladies in this oh, office. So well, I'm going to I'm gonna tell you, that I'm going to let you know one a little thing. Um, Brokers on our, on this service, you'll find out in a moment, are making tens of thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars. And there was the largest sale last year at the Toronto Real Estate Board was uh, $28 million. But we've done two deals over $50 million. So we've actually outsold the Toronto Real Estate Board for the highest price sale. And it was ladies that did it. They were involved. I'm letting them know that you've got a good chance that you can be, if you know the right people and you have a good relationship with some people, you just need a connection for somebody that likes that kind of property and you can do a deal and it doesn't matter how many zeros in the property. Okay. All right. So this will be like a good start for us to get going. So what you see on the screen is ILS dot real estate. If you can uh, take notes, everyone should have a copy right now. If you're at home, you need a pad of paper and a pencil. If you're here right now, you should have the PowerPoint presentation in front of you to take notes right on the PowerPoint presentation. And Alex and Doris can make sure this lady doesn't have the PowerPoint. You need, they both need the you need notes on the PowerPoint presentation as well. Okay. And um, so ILS.realestate is our latest service. And um, <clears throat> you're going to find that ICIWorld.com We've been going since 1994. And I have to mention this because it gets a little confusing for people, but there's a lot of strategies going on out here on the internet. And we've chosen a strategy on behalf, on behalf of the society, the ICI World Society of Real Estate Brokers and Salespeople. We have 500 members and they're making lots of money on this service through making connections with, I'm happy about exclusive information, not just real estate board listing. Today, a lot of people are restricted to making money with just MLS listings. But now you can make money with information, not just listings on a real estate board. And we're gonna cover that here in a moment. We have many websites. We actually have over 20 major world websites. And you'll say, what's going on? They are all powered by ICI World. ICI World is the database that's powering all these websites started from real estate people just like yourself. We started out of the Toronto Real Estate Board and it's growing very, very nicely. And the brokers have agreed to share their exclusive listings on your website. And maybe you would like to share your listings on their website because if they generate a lead, they can do a referral to you. If you generate a lead, you can generate a referral to them. We now have one broker who's done, it's a Remax agent as well, who's done 15 referrals. That's a total of 75 minutes of that person's time. And they made $45,000, 15 referrals. He's in a smaller community, $3,000 per referral, just doing referrals. So in addition to sales, you can also be doing referrals. So information listing ils.realestate is a website that is just coming online now and you're going to see it the nice thing about all our 20 major world websites they all have the same four choices that you see on the screen on the screen you'll see industrial commercial and investment real estate and duplexes and triplexes are counted as commercial on our service so if you sell a duplex or a triplex that's investment real estate you're actually doing investment real estate and then businesses, a thousand business opportunities. And I'm going to be addressing today's session to both residential real estate people and commercial real estate people, because there's a good connection between the two if you can get 
the right person coming um, to your listing. And I'll give you an example. One way that uh, anyone can do business by five o'clock today, who would like to do business by five o'clock today? Okay, everybody's hand goes up. All right, I'm going to actually show you right now one of the things that you can do. I'm going to open up a special website, our original website called ICI World. You can do this on any one of our websites because I am started this website. I keep using this one, but a lot of the new people like using the other websites. I'm going to click on search and you'll see the same four choices. In a moment, you'll be able to install the app. It has the same four choices. You'll be able to under, uh, in, er, um, add a shortcut to some of the websites as well. The same four choices. Now let's just talk about how you can do business by five o'clock today. Is there anybody that's going to be maybe eating at a restaurant or getting a submarine sandwich or picking up something someplace before five o'clock today? Okay, you know, a salad. You can even pick up a salad like you're a healthy person. You can pick up a salad and stuff like that, maybe. <laughs> okay, at those restaurants and kiosks and all those kinds of businesses, I'm just going to call it a restaurant for now. Watch this. If I go to business opportunities and I choose a keyword called restaurant, I'm going to do that right now, restaurants. And if I do choose the greater Toronto area, and I do a search database, one moment, let me just go back here because we're missing something. Oh, I had a keyword, I didn't choose restaurants, hang on, there's restaurants right there. And then I do a search, you're gonna see restaurants come up on the screen. Can you see them there? Yeah. All right, now, I'm gonna do something else even better. I'm gonna change the haves and wants, thank you for doing that. We just shut the lights off in the front so it's easier to see on the screen. I'm going to search the database again. And you should see that these are all wants. So what we're going to be suggesting is that when you have the app on your phone, we'll do, be doing this later with you. You can click on it in one second and pull up the app. You can click on business. You can change it to a want. And bingo, you're going to get the same listings on your phone. So if today you go to a restaurant, whether it's a Subway franchise or a Pizza Pizza or any kind of a restaurant, you know that there's buyers here for a restaurant right now. You're a residential salesperson. Could you introduce yourself to the owner of the restaurant? Say, by the way, I enjoyed eating here, um, but I happen to be in real estate. Do you mind if I ask you a question? If I was to bring you the price you wanted for your restaurant, would you consider selling? Could you ask that question if you wanted to? How much does it cost to ask that question? Zero. A free question. And if that owner says, well, maybe not at this time, but you know, give me your business card and I'll keep it on file. And if I ever want to sell, I'll call you back. Or he might say, if you bring me in $400,000 today, it's all yours. He might say that. And the commissions on businesses are 10%. Now, you may not want to sell a business, in which case you can do a referral. So if you know that there's an owner ready to sell, where is the buyer? I'm asking. It's right there on the screen. In other words, you just have to click on one of these, right? Click on that one. And there's the name of the person who's got a buyer. He happens to be this particular one, Tarun Tayegi at Raw the Page. You could call him up, tell him about the restaurant, and say, listen, I don't want to sell a restaurant, but is a 25% referral fee okay with you? In other words, let him go deal directly with the owner. And if the commission is $40,000, that's usually, usually split 20,000 to the listing agent, 20,000 to the selling agent, you would get 25% of the listing portion because really that's who you were talking to. Now I have another question. Does anybody take their kids to daycare here at all? Okay. When you go talk, when you drop your kids at daycare, could you talk to the owner of that daycare center? I'm sorry? I did talk to everyone. Oh, you've already talked to her. All right. Oh, good work on your part. Okay, very good. Well, I'm going to show you now 
how you can be searching buyers for daycare centers. Watch this. And this can you can be checking these listings every day on your phone. It only takes three seconds when you know how. We'll be showing you how in a moment. And I'm going to click on where do I, where's daycare? There is there's daycare. Let me go down to the bottom. I'm going to expand the time factor here, in which I'll explain all that later. And I'm going to search the database. And there they are. Isn't that exciting? In other words, you're now in touch with all the buyers in the industry that in my opinion, is being overlooked. It's 50% of the industry that's being overlooked to identify who they are. Everybody's got buyers, but you don't know who's everybody buyers, what they're looking for. But now there's a system out here that's keeping track of all the buyers in the marketplace if the real estate people put them here. And there is no but better place in the marketplace than real estate salespeople to find out all this information, to collect it, and to put it on in one spot that everybody else can work from. Because you don't make money until you have a showing today. If you have a showing today, you have a chance to make money. And so you might have a buyer, but if you don't have a showing, you're still not making any money. But if you know what their, their buyer is, maybe you can find it yourself in the marketplace. Now let's step it up a notch how you can make some big money. And this is how, remember I mentioned in the beginning that uh, one of the $50 million deals that was done here, it was done by a lady just like yourselves that are here. And I always enjoy uh, having uh, the talking about that. And one of the things I'm going to show you here is hotels. The buyers for hotels. This is something that maybe you never, ever thought of. But look at that, all the buyers for hotels and motels. Now, I think it's this one here. Uh, somebody's looking for a branded flagged hotel motel flagged simply means branded like a comfort in a quality in a holiday in something like that a name brand type hotel let's say and they're looking for 20 million or less and usually here's one here from 4 million to 20 million so i have a question when you're driving around in your car if you wanted to could you stop in on your way home or on your way down the street you see a comfort in could you drive into the lobby? And could you go up to the front counter and say, uh, I'd like to speak to the owner if it's okay. And if the, if the owner's not there, then you're going to leave your business card, right? And ask for the owner to call you, okay? And then when the owner calls you, or if the owner is there, you introduce yourself and say, I happen to be in real estate and I have a question for you. If I could get you the price you wanted for your hotel, would you consider selling? What's the two answers? Either yes or no. If he says no, he might say no, not at this time, but if it's okay with you, I'll keep your business card. And if we ever think of changing our minds, we'll call you back. Isn't that wonderful? They could end up calling you back. Today, you would never have done that if you didn't know all these buyers were here. Am I right or wrong? Because you now know they're here, isn't that a wonderful opportunity for you to help people make a connection? Now, if he says yes, you bring me in $42 million for my hotel and I'll sell it right now. They're in the business to make money, either sometimes by doing their regular business or by selling their motel and moving up to a bigger one. And he says yes, that's a commission that could be... <laughs> It could be like $200,000, $150,000. And you'd be splitting that with the other broker. But there's a little issue here. One of them is he might say, but I don't want to give you a listing. Has anybody ever said that I want to sell my property, but I don't want to give you a listing? How many people in the room? Anybody that's doing business? gets that said to them at sooner or later at one time or another. So we have a special way to work that kind of information in the marketplace, but you have to do it in a special way. And I'm gonna bring up the three special questions here in a moment. Let's see if I can bring up the right screen here. One moment, am I recording? Yes, I am, okay. <laughs> Sometimes I forget there that I'm recording here. I'm gonna switch. Uh, over here and just go down to the three special questions here. 
One moment. And Doris, do you know how far? There they are. And I'm going to make this a little bigger screen so that you can see it a little more comfortable. Let me just make this a little smaller. So when someone ever says to you, I'd like to sell my property, but I don't want to give you a listing. But I will pay you a commission. Builders are like that, too. They have new homes. They have condos. Um, there's all kinds of things that are available to you. A lot of businesses are that way. Um, some businesses, they do not want their listings put on the MLS. Why? Anyone? To the public. Yeah. So that's right. So the answer is that sometimes they don't want it exposed to the public because it could be actually bad for business. People might think they're going out of business. Maybe they're not making money. The employees might start leaving. That goes for all businesses in the world. Some people don't want to put their homes on MLS. Why would they not possibly? The best system in the world, the backbone of our industry, which will always be the backbone, but some people might not want to put their listings on MLS. What are some of the reasons that anyone can think of? Because they don't want the neighbors to know about it. Sometimes. That's right. Sometimes they don't want all the neighbors who can be a little bit nosy sometimes going through their homes on open houses and finding out that their home's for sale. And then everybody starts talking about it. And they don't like all that chit chatter about their home for sale. Sometimes they don't want the kids to know if they are getting to a divorce or separation. Or and divorces and separations, that's another reason. That's a good reason. This is wonderful. Can you come up with some more ideas? Sometimes they don't want to give commissions to the agents. Okay? And sometimes it's commission issues, that kind of thing, price issues. By the way, we had another one where it was the mayor of a city, and he didn't want everybody to know that he was selling his house in that city. We had another one who had five real estate agents in his family. And if you list it with one, you're going to have four enemies almost, right? So there was a, there's a lot of different issues that are going here. Um, in Lake Tahoe, you can go skiing in one day and go swimming in the water down at the bottom in the other day. And there's a lot of beautiful movie star properties in the mountains. And a lot of the movie stars do not want the interior of their home sort of plastered all over the internet with all their Rembrandts and famous paintings and all their important artifacts sort of for all the thieves of the world to kind of see. So some people are very sort of private that way and exclusive and they don't want to have all the interior of the home out there on the internet just like that. But they don't mind if one person is interested that's qualified to give them the information, that kind of thing. Um, sometimes there's people that say, listen, I'd like to sell my, does, by the way, does anyone in this room have a property coming for sale in the next one, two, three, four months? Okay. Can you give me an example of what the price, the type, and what city? Um, so a lot of my property, but I have to, it'll be in Keswick. And It'll be in which? Keswick. What did you say? Keswick. Oh, Keswick, Ontario. Coming for sale. Yeah. It's a home. Okay. Approximately what price? Uh, okay, so another thing is that real estate people find out about properties that are coming for sale, and there's lots of them. And so you have one that could be coming for sale, Keswick, $1.2 million, and you might get it in March or April or February or something. You're not exactly sure when. See, here's what you can now do. The advantage of the MLS is this. When you take an MLS listing, which is the best way in the world to sell a property, no question about it, this is another way. Just like you have cars, you have trucks. A truck does certain things, a car does certain things. It's the best kind of car in the world when you think about it, uh, the MLS. You take a listing, you get it signed, and the beauty is you put it on the internet where there's four billion people. It's amazing and everybody can see it. You get maybe 25 people interested, you get 10 people that wanna see it, and then there's four offers and you go and you sell the property. That's wonderful. But in this case, you have a property coming for sale 
And actually, you're the only one that knows about it. Is that correct? No one else in the room knows about it? We, we talked about it now, they know about it. But essentially, are you a secret agent right now, really, about that one property? You're the only one that knows about it. Interesting, eh? If you know about a for sale by owner, that's another option where you now are a secret agent. You know about a for sale by owner. For sale by owners basically are saying, I want to try to sell the property myself. I don't want to give you a listing at this time because if I can sell it myself, that's what I want to do. But we know that from the studies from the National Association of Realtors, that 91% of all FISBOs are sold by salespeople like yourself. They're eventually sold. People get fed up with all the aggravation, all the problems. There's many, many things to, that you're doing on their behalf that they don't know. They don't appreciate all the things you do until they try to sell a property themselves. And then they start to find out. So for sale by owners, another opportunity that you can be putting on here too. And we're going to show you how to do that. So now you have this property coming for sale. What if you could take that information and that word information is what we're here about today. This is an information service. And it started out of a book that I read by Bill Gates called At Speed of Thought. If you can take something out of your head and put it on the internet where the world can see it, they can give you a call. Coming for sale is a thought out of your head. Um, a FISBO, $1.2 million a home in Thornhill, ground level family room, no address, you just advertise it as an opportunity. That's a thought right now. There's no signed listing. You don't have a signed listing coming for sale. That's a thought. Um, restaurant for sale is exclusive where you do not have a signed listing. That's a thought. So we're sharing information. This is the information age. And this is adapting real estate to take advantage of information. And actually, if you don't sell it, you put it on MLS. If you can, you try to get it signed on MLS right off the bat. But until it's done, you can take that property and put that on the internet through this kind of a service as coming for sale, Keswick, $1.2 million. So now you're on the internet where there's 4 billion people you can get a call. The question is, how do you handle the call? Because the first thing that happens, they're going to ask you for what? When you get a call. Location. Can't hear you. Location. Location. They're going to call and say, listen, if you don't mind, I'd like to have the address. I'd like to drive by the property first. And if I like it, I'll call you back. Now, I'm going to cover how to handle that so that you're in compliance with RICO. And that's what this next five minutes is going to be all about. Are you ready? There we go. Whenever you have somebody that says, um, I don't want to give you a listing at this time, but I will pay you a commission, you can ask them three questions. Here's the first question. Will you pay me a commission if I bring you a buyer? Does anybody have a problem with that question? By the way, what page is that on? This is actually in a PowerPoint presentation. Um, I'm I jump around on my PowerPoints, by the way, depending on the session that I'm having. But there is, can I just bother you for the PowerPoint for a second? Um, there is a page that has the three questions already written down for you. And see if anybody can find it before I do. And uh, you find the three questions, uh, Alex or Doris, what page is it on? It's on page, there it is. It's on uh, this, the third to last page, is it? The third to last page. Uh, it's page number 10 on here, on this one. Page number 10, top right corner. Will you pay me a commission if I bring you a buyer? So when you're talking to that restaurant owner, when you're talking to that daycare owner, 
when you talk to that hotel owner and he says, yes, I'd like to sell my property, but I don't want to give you a listing, you're stuck. But then you go right into these three questions without missing a heartbeat. You ask them, will you pay me a commission if I bring you a buyer? Does anyone in this room have a problem with that question? No, no one ever does. So then you can move right on to the second question. By the way, people, brokers are making tens of thousands of dollars here, hundreds of thousands of dollars. We have brokers now that have made over a million dollars doing this to get this started. Second question, will you give me a 48 hour exclusive listing to show the property once I have a buyer? Interesting, eh? And what, what are they gonna say? Yes. Yeah, yeah, you get a yes. You talk to any FISBO. Does anyone here ever look at Kijiji or work with Kijiji, anybody? Okay, we got some Kijiji fans. Oh, you're in big luck today. This is fantastic for you. Because in Kijiji, you've got owners that are trying to sell their property. They've got all the details of their property, the pictures, they got everything and their name and phone number. You just have to dial the phone and ask them the first question. Will you pay me a commission if I bring a buyer? What are they gonna say? They always say yes. There you go. And these are experienced Kijiji people right here. Okay, let's go to the second question. You can cover this. Will you cover me with a 48 hour exclusive listing to show the property once I have a buyer? Here's the reason why you need that. Even though we have 75% of the listings on ICI World are exclusive, it doesn't mean that we don't put an agreement in place first before showing the property or divulging an address of the property to anyone. You should never give an address to a property to someone without having an agreement in place first. Do you all agree or disagree? Agree, okay. Then you move on to the third question. Will, uh, may I advertise your property? I'm going to do it without disclosing the address. Because a restaurant owner, would he give you permission to advertise his restaurant on the internet? No, everyone says no, because it could be bad for business. But if you simply said, restaurant, Thornhill, $400,000 making money, if you showed that owner that ad, he says, well, if that's what you need to get me a buyer, okay. And he'll agree, as long as you don't give the address. Now, why do you not, uh, uh, why do you advertise it without the address? Let's uh, click on this here. Hang on one second. Let's see if I can. Here's the reason. There's actually two reasons. This is the first one, and it has to do with RICO, which, if anyone's listening to this in Florida and California, because we do seminars all over the world you have your own licensing body we're doing this from ontario which has the real estate council of ontario and one of the provisions in the act is that a registrant shall not include anything in an advertisement that could reasonably be used to identify and that's the key <coughs> word identify specific real estate unless the owner of real estate has consented in writing so we all agree with that. So that means if you advertise or network, we call it networking information on the internet, and you say $1.2 million home, Keswick, Ontario, and let's say it was for sale, but you didn't have a signed listing, and somebody calls you for the address, are you going to give it to them? And the answer no is correct. And there's another reason why you don't want to do that. Because if you don't have a signed listing, people can end up going behind your back. And that happens in real estate. There's 4 billion people. I call it an ocean of people on the internet. And in an ocean, there's a lot of sharks in the ocean. I can tell you now that with commercial real estate and the properties we have, 
the sharks are swimming around mm -hmm. ICI world big time, waiting for a real estate person to make a mistake and say just a little bit too much. And then the person ends up going direct. Now, let's move on here. So when someone calls you, they ask you for the address, you should make a statement. In this particular case, we have to put an agreement in place first. A lot of the movie star properties being sold in take Lake Tahoe are being done that way. But if it's okay with you, I can show it to you on Saturday. You come to my office and I will make arrangements for you to see it. It should actually be the next slide. You got it? That's on page 11. Okay, on page 11 on the, the seminar that we're doing today. Isn't that wonderful? So in other words, you can network information, you can get a lead, but before you divulge information, you just tell them we have to put an agreement in place first, but if it's okay, you come to my office on Young Street here at uh, 12 o'clock on Saturday and I will make arrangements for you to see it. And then what do you do on the Friday? What do you that's right. You go get yourself a 48-hour exclusive listing to cover your showing. We have brokers making tens of thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's incredible. It's really wonderful. We did this service for 20 years commercial. We added residential five years ago. It's wonderful. It's working now for residential. It's just starting to build in residential. You're on the ground floor a little bit here. Okay, this is cutting edge technology working. But there's so much information around here. It's incredible. And you're going to be able to work information, not just listings. Interesting question. Go ahead. Uh, so in order to insert uh, any data or cell coming, we have to have a listing or we can just have information without the address just there. We're talking of if you can get a signed listing, you don't have to ask these three questions. You don't have to ask those three. I'm only talking about the situation where you cannot get a signed list. For, for the data, the ICI world. So On ICI world, think of ICI world almost like classified ads in a newspaper. Okay, you can put as much or as little in the ad as you want to. Right? Okay, you can put as much or as little in the ad as you want to. The nice thing about this is that we only allow licensed real estate brokers to join the service. We think it's a competent way to handle all the other information in the business that cannot be put on MS. It's controlled by brokers, which is good for the industry, good for the real estate industry to make money, but even more so, it's good for the public because you protect the public in every single sale that you do. There's a lot of court cases out there from people selling properties privately and they get into problems. Misrepresentation, innocent and otherwise. There's a lot of fraud going on in the marketplace. And licensed real estate brokers and salespeople like yourself are protecting these people. So by having all this other business for you to be able to bring it to the marketplace through a service like this, all this exclusive information, it gives a chance for all those sales to go through the hands of a licensed real estate broker salesperson. Okay, let's move on. One moment. Now, all of this information can also be put on your website to generate leads. And we're going to show you right now. Um, I'm going to actually go to this website. Hang on a second. Uh, what I want to do is go here. Gary, can I give an example of uh, a listing I put on, on, uh, on the iOS uh, real estate? Okay. Um, only thing is I can't hear because of this thing here. That's the only reason why it's not coming through because people can't hear through the microphone. Oh, okay. Okay. If you want to come here. So I have, uh, my name is Doris. I'm a real estate agent as well. With uh, Warren H. and Vaughn, and I have Gary 
with these presentations and I'm also a trainer for uh, Floyd Wickman. And I've been using this service for about 20 years. And uh, just recently at the gym that I go to, they, they're looking to buy, to open up more gyms at different locations. And so they need to find the land. Obviously, they don't need to find anything on MLS because they already have access to that. So I posted on ICI World that I'm looking for land from here to, you know, uh, Montreal along the highways and uh, how many acres and stuff like that. So then I got a call from somebody in Ottawa that has all this land to sell, commercial land. And I, you know, sent them the brief information. And, you know, maybe there's something that's going to come through. But also, I got another call from a builder and that has land, commercial land, here in Bonn and also around uh, the GTA. So, and then talking to him, he also needs to buy property, like freestanding building in Bonn. So, from one thing, you can get so many other needs and business opportunities. Thank you. Okay. But this system only can access real estate agents, right? No, this is public information. I'm actually going to show that to you now. Um, you can actually install the app and search the listings that are on the service. So the public can search this. We get about 40,000 people uh, IP addresses a month that we track. There's 20,000 emails sent out to the industry. There's 2,000 brokers advertising it on their website. We're on the front page of the business exchange, the commercial exchange, the commercial investor, which has a readership of 300,000. Literally, it's penetrating the marketplace in many ways to the public. So when you post information here, you can be getting calls from the public. Okay. Now I'm going to show you something else for your own personal websites, if you have them. And I'm going to start with Daryl's website. Right. Um, one of the things I noticed um, is every website in the business has MLS. So you have a website that has MLS on your website. What you don't have on your website is are the exclusive listings. And there is a way to easily add it to your website with one little menu button to demonstrate it. And where I thought this would come in handy at this office is I clicked on listings here. And you'll, you'll notice what comes up is luxury homes and open houses and sold homes and et cetera. But look at this one here, exclusive listings, right? And when I click on that and I come up, I can see that there's like one listing here and we have five special widgets. We call them widgets. They're like links to listings that are on ICI World that other brokers have agreed to share with you in the same um, camaraderie that we share MLS listings. And does anybody know when MLS first started? Throw out a number just for fun. What year? Take a guess. When did MLS start? 1990s. 1990s? In the 60s? Anybody else? 70s? Would you believe in the late 1800s? Brokers, five brokers got together like this and says, listen, um, I have some properties. If I agree to share my properties with you, will you agree to share properties with me? And that was the beginning. It was sitting around in a group like this. So we've done the same thing now with exclusive information, which I'm about to demonstrate how it can work very, very nicely. And on this particular page here, um, this is where I'm suggesting that the exclusive listings can be added very, very nicely here. And I'm gonna demonstrate it by showing you some websites. We have 2000 brokers with these websites now, and, and I'm gonna demonstrate just we have 50 sample websites, but I'm gonna just start by demonstrating one of these Remax websites here, where uh, a gentleman named Manzer Batty has a nice looking website. I'm sure everyone here does as well. Well, I suggest it's not just the design of the website, it's really the listings on a website that can trigger the leads. Because if somebody comes here, they can search the MLS, but they can now also search exclusive for the first time. Look at that, isn't that interesting? What are the choices? Well, uh, the choices are uh, residential, 50% exclusive, Ontario commercial, world commercial exclusive, business opportunities exclusive, for sale by owners in Canada, and for sale by owners worldwide. Interesting, eh? I'm going to demonstrate them right now, and we'll start with the residential. And when I click on it, 
you're going to see a form come up and it's actually the very similar form that we have on our apps all our 20 major world websites by the way we're building 80 more over the next five years they're all designed to bring more leads into every one of you that's what it's designed to do strategic out there somebody sees a listing and it's yours you get the call hop in the car go show it and make twenty thousand dollars it can be that fast it's happening in this case we are searching on manzur's website and i'm just going to come near i've already chosen greater toronto area and i'm going to just sort them by age and i'm going to click on search database and these are the latest listings coming in now here's one that says uh sorry uh, here's one that says toronto bungalow here's it oh here's another one toronto bungalow coming for sale let's just think about that one for the moment if someone comes to your website and they see this listing they are going to try to click on that number and they can't do it if they can't do it and this is your website who do they have to call give me a high five there you go isn't that wonderful you should put it on Two here you you put it on here and then people in the area other salespeople can even ask people with bungalows would they like to sell you can but actually you can get call that agent too. oh yeah that one coming for sale that's right you can just call them up right now isn't that wonderful this is leads that can be triggered from each and every one of your websites i often say that marketing is a lot like fishing if you don't put your line in the water you have no chance to put food on the table this is one chance for you to have your lines in the water to trigger leads from your very own website and it's the power of an industry that's working for each and every one of you it's not just our service it's really each of you networking with each other in the whole industry with this exclusive information which is bringing it all to the fore and helping everybody and the more they get on it the more opportunities there are to make good connections right away now i'm going to i'm going to click on something else for a reason the uh, commercial brokers sometimes they don't want to sell residential but i'm going to give an example for commercial brokers now that somebody searches a commercial broker's website whoopsie daisy i want to do this by price sorry a commercial broker's website and let's say that somebody calls that commercial broker on one of the homes here and maybe even this 19 million dollar one just for the sake of argument this one is a luxury home in toronto for sale if a commercial broker gets a call on a residential listing and does not want to sell that property which some of them say well juice i think for 19 million dollars i will go sell that one <laughs> you can make that choice but if you didn't want to that commercial broker could call that agent and say listen um i have a lead for you why don't you try to go and sell it and is a 25 percent referral commission okay with you in other words anything that you don't want to work from getting a lead from your website you do what the doctors do. If a doctor can't handle a heart problem because he's a general practitioner, what does he do? He refers you to a heart doctor and your nose and throat specialist. So they refer you out. You become a general practitioner that if you get a commercial call, if you're residential, you refer it out. If a commercial broker gets a call, he refers it out to the residential salesperson. So it helps everyone in the industry. Let's take another example. I'm going to go back to exclusives and I'm going to go to Ontario commercial exclusives. And you're going to see listings coming up. Now, one example in the industry is when you go to pick up your commission check at the lawyer's office sometimes. Could you say, I'd like to speak to the lawyer? And they say, well, he hasn't got enough time. Say just for two minutes, one minute. And you ask the lawyer, do you know anyone, any of your clients or yourself, looking to buy or sell any kind of real estate in the next one to five years? By the way, thanks. Thank you for the check. And he might say, well, as a matter of fact, one of my clients is looking to invest in apartment buildings. You can tell him, here's my card. Go to my website. 
you do not send people to ICI World and to any of our websites. If you have a customer, you send them to your own website and you tell them to click on apartment buildings. I don't know, can you see the word apartment buildings from there, right there? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna click on it. So they go to your, apart, your website and lo and behold, can you see that number there? Yeah. 287, 287 apartment buildings on your website. Isn't this fantastic? Now, they might come down here and say, well, I'm interested in uh, this one in King City for $2.5 million and they can't click on that. So you get the call and they say, can you help me? I'm interested in message number 380583. Can you help me? And what should you say? Yes, I can help you. I will have someone call you back. You get a hold of the broker who's got that listing and say, I have a lead for you. Is a 25% referral fee okay with you? Isn't that wonderful? It's working smooth as a baby's bum. And then you use your regular referral agreements. Are they in triplicate? Referral, referring broker, receiving broker, the referral forms? No. You know, so any of the issues that I'm talking about today, you take it up with your broker record manager uh, about how to do a 48 hour exclusive listing. And once you've done your first one, you're gonna wanna do more. It's really exciting. And then there's a list of buyers. People wonder, you know, when you go to try to get a listing, if it's a little duplex or triplex, click on apartment buildings for the wants. And look at that, 258 buyers of income producing real estate. You tell me if that isn't exciting. That shows how well connected you are in the business. If you show that, to that lawyer, he's gonna say, oh, she's a great source of buyers. And that's what they like. They like being able to get the highest and best price for their property. And this way, you've got a whole big list of built-in buyers and sellers for properties for sale and for lease and buyers for them. All different kinds of real estate are here. Let's go to the next one. Uh, world exclusive commercial. This is all over the world, Florida. And if you got a call on a Florida property, somebody can search your website. And let, in fact, let's do it for the residential. Somebody goes to your website, pretends is your website. And instead of choosing Canada, they choose USA. And maybe they choose Southeast. And maybe they choose Florida. And for purposes of demonstration, I'm gonna expand the list a little bit. I'm gonna go down here and you know something, I might even sort them by price and search Florida properties on ICI World. This in Florida, they can do it from your website. Isn't that amazing? Now, let's say somebody calls you on this one in Treasure Island in Florida for $625,000. They cannot click on that listing, so you get the call. You are gonna look up, look up that owner on ICI World, <coughs> and you're gonna find out that it happens to be a broker in Tampa, Florida. Can you do a referral to a broker in Tampa, Florida? Yeah. Oh yeah, big time, big time. And when you do a referral, you get paid in West funds. Isn't that wonderful? So you can be telling people that they can see properties in Florida. And that would be a good time to tell them that, wouldn't you think? Right now, a lot of people are thinking of Florida. So this is a way to do referrals all over the world. One of the uh, designations that I have, I've been a broker now for 46 years, but I want everyone in the industry to know that I'm an assistant to everyone in the industry. I'm an assistant for each and every one of you, okay? I enjoy helping you by making it a specialty, being an assistant to brokers and salespeople all over the world. And the CIPS designation is one of the designations I suggest everyone consider getting. It stands for Certified International Property Specialist. 
and it's fairly easy to get. You can get it for under two thousand dollars, probably about a thousand and change. Hundred dollars a course along the way. It's put on here in Greater Toronto area with uh, REIC, the Real Estate Institute, and. Uh, and so that's a good designation to get. It teaches you all the different cultures of the world, how to do real estate with different people and different things to respect in their culture, that kind of thing. The other one here is CCIM is another great designation for people. I'm suggesting that all, believe it or not, residential salespeople take the first course, at least take the first course. It's called CI 101. It will take the mystery out of commercial real estate just like that for you. You will understand the money that goes into a project, the money that comes out. It will help you sell duplexes, triplexes, apartment buildings, 50 unit buildings, and you can get into shopping centers, office and industrial. Take the first course. It will help you on your own account. It will help you analyze real estate, how it makes money. If you're selling an investment property to someone, a duplex or triplex, that kind of thing, or a store with two apartments up above or something. A lot of times after you show it to the people, they walk away and they say, I'd like to think about it. And you'll say, you know, what, I, what would you like to think about? And you try to overcome the objections and your skepticism and all that. But a lot of times you'll lose them. And the problem is they go back and they talk to a lot of their family members and they're gonna say, oh, it's too much money. Oh, you know, and they give lots of reasons why. But if you take CI 101, from that CCIM course that I'm showing, I'm showing it actually on my lapel right now, not on the screen, sorry. Uh, you can, anyone listening, you could go to CCIM.com and search CI 101. You should also mark down CCIMCanada.com. So if you're in uh, real estate, I'm recommending everyone in real estate, residential and commercial, because I started in residential for 15 years and got into the course. And uh, CCIMCanada.com is the local chapter that meets at the Toronto Real Estate Board on a regular basis, provides excellent speaker, excellent networking, and literally the very best in education when it comes to commercial real estate, helping people learn the business. You listen to great speakers and all that kind of thing. After the CI 101 course, you are going to be able to paint a picture of how that property makes money. And when you paint the picture, and I'm calling it, it's an analysis. Uh, it has a, an annual property operating data sheet. It has a cash flow analysis sheet that you give to the people. And when they walk away, you're actually in control of that deal because they've got your information to look at. And when they take this information and they show it to their family members, to their lawyers, to their accounts, or to anybody they show it to, it's gonna show that property making money. And what are they gonna say? No to making money that's gonna be harder than if you don't have it. You can learn that in CI 101, how to show that picture of how real estate makes money. It's the before and after tax implications of investing in any income producing real estate. And I'm recommending that everyone take that. You may not proceed all the way to your CCIM designation, but some of you might, you might get hooked. I never had one person in all the years I've been in business ever, ever regret not taking that course. Taking the course is something that we recommend. Okay, let's move on. <clears throat> Doris, is there anything that you would like to add right now? Okay, let's go. Where is the PowerPoint? Where did it go here? Uh, hang on one second. I'm just going to expand. Oh, just uh, one thing, maybe um, uh, that's another. Once you have that link of Exclusa, that's something you can market on your Instagram, your Facebook, that if people want to get access to exclusive listings, you, come, you can post that link and then they'll come to your website and you start capturing links. How do you add that option to your website? Like, do you remember? Yes. Is going to be automatically added to my website? Yes, here's how it works. Uh, let me, uh, I'm going to show a couple of more websites, and then I'm going to show yeah. you what, how to add it. Yes. Now, here's another website uh, from another person, from Lori O'Gilvery. She's with Remax. And you can see the exclusive button there. 
Does anybody want to see any? Oh, can I show the Canada FISBOs? We haven't shown that yet. Would yeah. you like to see yeah, them? Yeah, sure. <laughs> These are added to the public, to ICI World, absolutely free. Now I'm going to click on, uh, I'll click on Ontario just for fun. And you can see the listings that are coming in here. Look at that. These are buyers and sellers looking to buy and sell property. These are from the public. So we allow the public to post information on any of our websites absolutely free but the only people that can get the contact information are the members so when you're a member we'll have access to all those visibles okay okay in toronto you can actually go back here and I'm actually gonna go back here and we're gonna go to back to her website to exclusive and you'll see the world FISBOs here. Yes. Actually, there was a Toronto button there, but I, I wanna show you the world FISBOs while I'm at it. I'm gonna change it to Canada and then Ontario and then Greater Toronto and then we're looking for Toronto. Okay, baby. okay? and do a search. These are in Toronto. Okay. I mean, does anybody here ever go to a dollar store? I do. My wife, we go in there once in a while <laughs> and find things. There's, look at that, wanted. Somebody that wants to buy a dollar store. And usually it's the owner right at the front desk. What would you ask them? You would introduce yourself. I'm in real estate, pull out your business card, right? <laughs> Show it to them. And say, I'd like to ask you a question. And what's the question? If I get you this card. Will you pay me a commission? Oh, yes. <laughs> a commission if I bring you a bag. Yes, but there's a question before that one. I think you were asking it. I was asking, if I bring you the price, you, got you get the right price. Which makes you happy. Will you consider selling your store? Good question. If I get you the price for your business that makes you happy, would you consider selling? I like it. And they might say, yes. This is exciting all of a sudden. Electricity going through your veins. You got some business happening, right? Could you do that today if you wanted to? Yeah. 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 Every place you go, up and down every street, you don't have to get a telephone book up and go call all the dollar stores. You're doing residential business. You're busy people already. I'm saying in your regular everyday business travels, do this. That's why you can be doing two things at once all the time. Do you think that we should reach out to that buyer who's looking for the property and ask him within what time frame he's looking for? Or like you should just directly go to the dollar store? I'm, I'm just curious. I'm suggesting, I'm agent, I'm so you, you, you can talk to the, you know, I'm going to bring up another good point here. We have some older listings on ICI World. And we only display the listings on the mobile apps and all the everything on the cell phone that are less than 90 days old. But we have a lot of older listings too that you can search. And I have a question for people. And this happens especially in commercial real estate. And I'd like to open up your mind to networking. If you called somebody on a property that was say four years old and it was sold, can it be helpful to find out how much it sold for? Can that be some helpful information? Yeah. yeah. Is it possible that that property could be coming back for sale again? Yeah. How would you find out? Only by calling them. Mm -hmm. Is it possible that because that person works that kind of property in that specialized area, that they know about other properties in the area that are not on the service? Mm -hmm. yeah. And lastly, if you have a good relationship with those people, maybe three weeks from now, they can call you back with a property that matches the description of exactly what you're looking for. We call this networking. This is a networking service. The most valuable um, commodity on this service is really the salespeople. The networking that you do with the other salespeople. The listings give you an idea who to call. You may not do business on that one listing, 
But a lot of business is done by talking with them about that listing and then other things that are not on the surface and brokers go off and do a deal. So a lot of business is being done that way as well. But you're, it is also a good idea to call that for, that for sale by owner if he wants a property. Yes. And get all the details and answer all the questions. And then you might even find out if he just wants that property, another property, wants to sell something. Right. All kinds of different things. Yeah. Here's another website, uh, Remax again. You'll see how the exclusive appears very nicely here. Let's go through a few more. Here's another one. Exclusives. There they are. Isn't that lovely? By the way, these links are mobile optimized. So all the websites that you have are mobile optimized. So they'll come up on a mobile phone very nicely when they look at your website. Let's just see a couple of more. Now this one, he split it up into two. He's got commercial under one button and he puts the commercial here, all the exclusives. And then under residential, he's got the residential buttons. If we go to, let's see what else we got here. The Chung <coughs> Dynasty team, mm -hmm. he's got it uh, here someplace as well. Hang on, I might have to make this other window a little bit smaller. I think I'll do it this way here. He's got it over here, I think, under commercial. Yeah, under commercial or listings, I'm not sure. Let me try listings, commercial. Oh yeah, there's all the commercial exclusive ones. He doesn't have the residential. Keep in mind, we added residential recently and some brokers still haven't added the link on there yet for the residential. Here's another one, exclusive. All the exclusive buttons here. I wanted to show you how nicely it's, it fits in to the menu bar to trigger leads. We'll do a couple of more. And then what was it? Um, this person has one of the, the highest hit resource sites in Canada, and he's got us under the world commercial button, I believe. There it is there. And there's another website. He has it under residential, residential exclusives, etc. And then under commercial, he has all the exclusives. This one here, uh, she's got it down here. It's a little harder to see on this one. We're recommending that you put it in a prominent place on your menu bar and, and do it that way. That's another one that's coming up on her website. This one here, exclusives. And that sort of fills you up. And, and there's other ones that are available here as well. Okay, now, what was it that I was going to show a moment ago that I forgot? Uh, can anybody read me? Somebody ask a question on something. The witch? I think we showed the Fizbos. Um, just let me go through the PowerPoint here and we'll, we'll continue on here. Hang on a moment. Quick question. Yes, sir. Uh, what do you think what agents are putting this on the site? Yes. You don't show them anymore? That's correct. In other words, this is um, there's a responsibility the whole industry. How come that's not working there? Hang on. At 80 days in our case. Yeah. Um, How do you expect us to use the accurate information that is appearing? Okay. Um, the one thing, the only way you can check is by calling the other broker. And it's a good point that you brought up. One of the benefits of the MLS system is that it's accurate. In other words, everything has to be accurate. If, if you have a hot water tank and it's rented and you marked own, you're in big trouble just over a little simple thing like that. So everything on, on an MLS system is checked, but not everything on an information service is checked. So in other words, it's possible you can call the other person and the person change their mind. It's just a piece of information. Until it gets signed in writing, you have to sort of treat it that it might evaporate. It's possible it could evaporate. I often call this a gold mine. In a gold mine, do you have to dig through some dirt to get to the gold? That's what you have to do. I'm actually going to call him back later. I should have reduced the sound on that. Pardon me. And uh, so the information is not all 100% like it will be, okay? The only way you can find out is by calling the people. 
But that's one of the reasons why we only display the listings that are less than 90 days old. We used to display them even years back and people were calling them and say, oh, the property's been sold. So now we're doing it similar to a three month listing that real estate boards do. We just show the listings that are less than three months old. And that way it's probably a higher uh, probability that it's, it's active and still going. There is a responsibility upon all the brokers to mark their listing sold when you sell them. But do all the brokers do it on time? Unfortunately, no. That's another reason why we only do the 90 days. So if a broker doesn't look after their listings, they get dropped off and people will only be seeing the fresh listings to the public. Now, if you want to search back further, you can as a member, you can search back further. And um, if you need it to repost it for more than 90 days, just modify and repost it and have to start everything over again. So um, ICI World actually started in 1994 and it's been going and it's really been the advent of these mobile phones that has really taken off. And it's just, believe it or not, still at a little bit of infancy where everybody's learning how to use it in a smart way. Everybody's using it, but there's so many things in here still to learn to get even smarter. It's really starting to take off now. Everybody's adding the app to their phones and you can literally check the listings, new listings daily. All of our websites have the four main choices, commercial, business, residential, and commercial. Um, we have all our members are networking this information to the public and sharing their listings with other brokers. We um, post, now these ads that you see here were on the front page of various publications reaching the street. The estimated readership is 300,000 in Southern Ontario. The reason we do that is if somebody sees, we're on the front page of every one of these publications now. If somebody sees ILS.realestate and they go to the service and they see one of your listings, residential or commercial, they pick up the phone, they call you. You go show the property, you sell it, and you make $15,000. It's actually that easy. It's a connection directly to the public. It's amazing. Can you please uh, show, show us how a buyer would be surfing and getting to your website? on the first page, let's say if it's a buyer I'm looking for a pro property, and how do I reach on your website? Like, I mean, how does it There's many. Okay. okay. I know, like, I mean, I, I do have That's... generic ranking, but like, I mean, me being a buyer in well, Hill, I'm looking for a property, I wanna know how your website shows up on the first page. I mean, that's a generic explanation that I understand. Okay, here. In other words, how do people find ICI World? Mm -hmm. Okay. ICI World has been going since 1994. We have over 18,000 pages on the internet. There's over 20,000 emails that distribute information daily to the public. We're on the front page of various trade magazines and people are finding us in ways that I don't even know how they find us. They can do a keyword search for condos and ours can be sometimes coming up in a certain area. But Google is changing their algorithm so much. It's always changing. It, by the way, that's one of the simplest questions that I ever get. It actually has the longest answer. It's a full day presentation of what we do to get our information out to the public. But what I have done is I have made a video of how you can get your website to the top of the search engines because it's a feeling that as a society of real estate brokers and salespeople, we would actually like, if you're number one in your marketplace or you're in your marketplace, why don't we get you to come up in your marketplace? So we spend a lot of time to get your websites to be number one in your market area. To be number one in every single market area, is kind of hard to do. We can do it for a general word, but then when it comes to, uh, what? Community are we in here? Richmond, Richmond Hill? York. York Region? York, do, do people search York Region real estate? That's a key word. Those are words that you should have on your website as a meta tag at the top of your website, built into your website. So if people search York Region real estate, they can find you. What else might they search for homes in this area? Pardon me? I know, but what are the keywords they would type into Google to find homes here? Homes near me or something like that. 
homes near me is a realtor.ca function. Mm -hmm. Everyone has realtor.ca on their phones, right? If right. you don't, you should. Mm -hmm. And there's only one website company that you can do that from their website. And we, I'm not gonna get into all that other stuff yet, but if you ever <laughs> wanted the website that does homes near me, you can do it. Mm -hmm. What I'm getting at is when somebody is searching for homes in Richmond Hill, do they type in homes in Richmond Hill? Do they type in real estate for sale in Richmond Hill? Do they type homes for sale in Richmond Hill? Mm -hmm. Then it's Richmond Hill that you should be concentrating on getting people to come to your website. So how come I have- The video, I'm gonna show you. Okay, you're on the main other website. I'm gonna to go to the one that you've got on your screen so I can show it to you. When you come to one of our websites, icirworld.com, which is one of the foundation websites that we had way back in the beginning, you go to this button here called seminar, and you will notice that there are four recorded webinars here. And webinar number four is how to promote your website. You'll actually get $100 towards advertising if you listen to that video. In other words, we're giving you $100 towards advertising to listen to the video. How we do it, you'll see that there's a special company you can call to get that $100 free for advertising. When you click on play, what it is, it's, um, how can I explain this? Many years, about uh, four or five years ago, um, there was a search engine convention in the world. And I thought, well, geez, if you wanna get to the top of the search engine, you have to go to the search engine convention to learn how to do it. You would have to go, everybody would have to go. It would be $4,000 for everybody would have to spend $4,000 to go to this convention. So I said, okay, I'll spend the $4,000 and then I will help all our members. So I went Ray, to the search engine convention. There's 1,000 broke, uh, 1,000 geeks, G-E-E-K-S, I'm saying geeks, <coughs> computer nerds. By the way, they're proud of this term. Okay, these guys, there was only two real estate people in the whole room, myself from Toronto and another guy from uh, California, another realtor from California, just the two of us. And we were learning, MSN was there, uh, Yahoo was there, and all the presidents of all these companies were all there. And um, they did a viral, I'll never forget this viral marketing technique. There was a guy that had an Osterizer that he was trying to sell, and it was in Wisconsin, trying to sell an Osterizer. And he had hardly any sales and he's got a big plant. How can you sell Osterizers to the world? The, the sales manager went into the back and he was testing it with a piece of wood. So what they did in the seminar in front of a thousand brokers, he got an Osterizer, he put on some rubber gloves and he got a two by four. He got the two by four and started pressing it down in the Osterizer and it was just tearing it right up all the way down. They put that video on the internet and it went viral and they started selling thousands of Osterizers. Interesting, eh? So in other words, those are the kind of things we were learning down there. But there were seven basic things that I learned, actually 10 basic things that I learned down there. I'll give an example of one. Let's say, and I'm gonna use you two as an example if I may. You both have exactly the same looking website. Everything's the same, but if, if she, uh, registers her website for 10 years and you register your website for one year, whose website will Google choose to come up first? The one with the 10 years. I never knew that. I never knew that. Nobody told us. I had to go and spend $4,000 and I put it in that video, number four. You want another one? Another trick on how to try to come up in the search engines? At the beginning of your website, you might have something like, welcome to my website, your source for homes in Richmond Hill. You could say that, right? So if somebody ever searched the internet for homes in Richmond Hill, you've got it on the front page of your website. If you had it in your domain name, and you can have more than one domain name pointed to the same website. People didn't know that sometimes. And let's say the two websites were exactly the same. They both had the same wording, but in your case, you put capital letters on that phrase, uh, welcome, uh, um, 
to my website, your source for homes in Richmond Hill. But that was in capital letters, but hers was not. Whose website's gonna come up first? Can you believe that? Who would have told us that Google's going back into the search engine, looking at the HTML for the coding, because if you did it in bold letters, that must mean that you really have homes in Richmond Hill. That's all they're trying to do. I can tell you now, the most important thing is to make your websites relevant, relevant to your area, to the kind of business you do, and have those homes readily available for searching. Now, then there's other tips and tricks in there too that you're gonna to listen to when you listen to the video. But let's talk about pay-per-click. Who in this room would like to be to the top of the search engine for all the Richmond Hill homes in real estate within 48 hours, if somebody's searching. But that's very expensive. That's right. <clears throat> that's right. It can be very expensive. It starts off, you can bid a buck a click. You can have a budget of $300 a month and try to get to the top of the search engine. If somebody, your website comes up, it's free. There's no charge. When your website comes up and somebody searches, pay-per-click, there's no charge. When is there a charge? Yeah. Boom, when somebody clicks on it. When somebody clicks on it and they go to your website, and if you end up selling a home in Richmond Hill and making $15,000, was it worth it? Stay with me. I'm going to take you on a roll here. If you bid $2 and somebody and you sold a home, was it worth it? If you bid $10 a click, <coughs> if you sold a home, $50 a click. In other words, are you doing business from it? That's the bottom line. I don't care if Google says you're getting 10,000 hits. If I haven't had one call, personally, something's wrong. Do you agree or disagree? From a broker's point of view, we want to be getting the calls and we want to have them see the homes and having some showings. So the bottom line, you have to analyze that. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm a little tickle in my throat. I should have had some water earlier. Cool. Now I'm going to give you the problems with the pay-per-click. Somebody had homes for sale in Kingston, Ontario and at Kingston Real Estate. And they spent 300 bucks a month and in the first month got zero. So they did a conference call with us and I can do a conference call with Google. If anybody's interested, we charge 45 bucks an hour and I've never needed one or two hours at the most to help each and every one of you to learn this. This is something separate from what we're doing on the network. So I got on the phone with Google and he says, yeah, he's got a lot of hits, a lot of clicks. You know what people were searching? Kingston, Jamaica. And they were landing on his website, Kingston. And the only way they could find out is if they clicked on it. And if they clicked on it, he got charged off his budget per month. So we analyzed it and we made a change, made it Kingston, Ontario, made it clear that it has to be Kingston, Ontario. Big difference. Mm -hmm. Here's another one. People might say uh, they have these things called long tail keywords. Has anybody ever heard of, heard of that? Yeah. Long tail keywords. So let's say you had a phrase, uh, real estate in Richmond Hill for sale, mm -hmm. all of that. Okay. If somebody searches the word sale, it's in your mm -hmm. sentence, it could come up, yeah. but it could be closed for sale mm -hmm. and you're gonna get charged. That's not right. Mm -hmm. When there's going to be other things that are called exact matches. And there's five different choices in Google when you do keywords. So you got to get into the specifics of these things. We have a special pledge to everyone in the industry. There's a special pledge we have that every single person should either be doing a deal or triggering leads with every, anything you do with ICI World. Every 90 days, you should be triggering leads at the very bottom line. If you're not, you're missing something. The bottom line is, am I getting calls? That's the bottom line. And if I'm doing advertising with Google and I'm not getting the calls, I would stop, stop right away and analyze it. Why are you not getting calls? You've got relevant websites. You've got homes in Richmond Hill. You're in a number one real estate company in Richmond Hill doing business. You should be getting the calls. And if you're not, you've got to analyze it. 
there's something wrong and get help, get help from your website company, whoever that might be, talk in the office with other real estate people, ask brokers a record because they know about this because they're helping you with all of this kind of stuff. Ask questions and give us a call too, maybe we can help. So yeah, we try to get you to come up in the search engines of the world and that's how that happens. Let's move on and we're gonna start winding down now and we'll be finishing off here in a moment. Let's see, is this the one? Okay, and you can jump in here too, Doris, as we go through here. Um, you're, you know, when you put information on ICI World, it's instantly on 2,000 other brokers' websites. Boom, just like that. Isn't that instant marketing exposure? For exclusive information, something that you can't work anyplace else right now. That's really, really very, very good. And um, 20,000 emails going out a day. Let's move on. Testimonials. This lady here, she called me. She found a lady who wanted to buy a, uh, a retirement home. She ended up selling one. She made a hundred. She called me up. She says, Gary, I got a check for $135,000 in my hand. I'm so excited. This is just wonderful. You just have to make a connection. You make the right connection. You can make this kind of money. This was not done on the Toronto Real Estate Board. This is exclusive information. Oh, this other one here, I don't know if it says Doran, Fran Doran Francis, she was working for Realty Networks at the time. She joined the service, just like yourselves, ladies. And we taught her the three questions. And uh, in our FISBO area, there was somebody trying to sell a, a space for a church for $2.4 million. So she called them up and she asked them the three questions. What's the first question? If you get the right price, are you willing? Okay, and they say yes. And then what's the first question you would ask? Them? You can look on your notes if you want to. I bring you a buyer. And the person said yes. Will you take commission? Will you be giving me a forty-eight hours? This person. Because I bring you the buyer who are willing to pay for your property. Yes. The amount. Which you want. The key will thing is if I bring the buyer, will you pay me a commission? Yes. 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 What's the second question? Right now? Big difference. Big difference. Listen, we've had people that did not make money on this service. That's why I say never go longer than 90 days without making money. Somebody called me up one time. They said, Gary, I'm not making any money. I says, what's the matter? I said, I don't know. I says, what are the three questions? He says, well, I'm asking them for a 48 hour exclusive listing. And they're all saying no. Is that the second question? No. Okay. What is the second question? If I bring you a buyer. If you just say, I'd like a 48 hour exclusive listing, what are they gonna say? No. no. If I bring you a buyer, <laughs> that's like night and day. One answer is no, one answer is yes. And the third question? How much is this? May I advertise your property? No. What's the real third question? The 48 hour listing. No, I'm not going to sign a contract. We don't have the, like once, yeah. we, get the, once we get the permission for. Uh, Exclusive listing there without disclosing the address. Without disclosing the address. I'm may I have your permission to advertise it verbally? Because you tried to get a signed listing, she wouldn't give it to you. She didn't give that that church property there that you're looking on the screen right there, the one on the right, that was not a signed listing in the beginning. That was a piece of information. It was a lady just like yourselves. So she got a yes, yes, yes for all three. Can I advertise your property? I'm gonna do it without the address. She put it on church property at Tobacco, $2.5 million. Can you tell which property that is if it's, if I say that? Can you figure out which property it is? Well, in that case, you'd have to sign uh, an agreement. There's no agreement signed yet. Not yet. It's coming. Oh, okay. What was the question? Sorry. In other words, <clears throat> she put on the system church property okay. at Tobacco, $2.5 million. Does that give that property away? 
No. Do you know the address? No. That's right. She got calls from three congregations over the next 30 days. And she ended up selling it to one of the congregations. She made $54,000. That's within 90 days of joining the service. With information, not just a listing. Both are valid. You know the wonderful news? You can do both. If you can get a signed listing, you've got the vehicle to do it, but you also can now do it with exclusive information. Okay. The nice thing about information, if you know something, you're a secret, but if you put it on the internet, your information now is working on the internet. We're the ones that are distributing it to the world, that's making it available on world sophisticated world databases that people from 138 countries are coming here on a regular monthly basis and seeing everything and they can call you. And Canada is like number one in the world for people to move to. So you got a uh, great opportunity here in Canada. Bring me a buyer, I wanna sell. I don't know who to call. All of these questions we're gonna help you with. It all started, believe it or not, right out of the Toronto Real Estate Board back in, 19, in the early 1990s. Our brokers were standing up and talking about information. I used to write down feverishly who wants what, who wants, and I couldn't write down fast enough. If you go around the table, you can't write fast enough. Then one time, somebody I was talking to a lawyer, and he told me about a shopping center. I tried to remember who it was that I wrote it down. I couldn't find the notes. I says, it's got to stop. It's got to stop in the industry where you have a piece of information, and you forget who it was that had that buyer two weeks ago that you were talking to. You forgot it? It shouldn't be that way, not with electronics and computers and everything technology. Well, we built a special database. I was fortunate to make a connection with one of the top senior search engineers at the Nortel Corporation. I don't know if some of you heard of Nortel. Anybody hear of Nortel? Nortel, Nortel? It was a phone company a long time ago. It was number one in the world. And a lot of things changed. Anyways, he took me under his arm and built the database. It would have been $5 million to build it. But he's been with me over 20 years and he makes money on a regular basis from me on a regular basis. He did it one-on-one um, -on -one, and it's a very sophisticated database. Uh, there's information on myself and um, all of the social media, you use that to promote your website. That's another way to promote your website, social media. We're doing social media every week. We have a plan that actually posts social media on a regular basis throughout the internet. ILS.realestate is our latest website where realtors are sharing exclusive listings with realtors and uh, generate new customers on demand. Now we're going to show you how you can actually post the information on the service. Um, what you do is you actually make an appointment with us. And here's how that appointment is made. You'll see up here it says make an appointment. People wonder how can you have a thousand people calling you? Well, if you were I had a thousand people calling us every day. We'd need five people on the telephone. It'd be $200,000 a year, Ray, or more <laughs> to manage it. I say, don't call me. Right from the beginning when we started the service, do not call me because just make an appointment. That's going to save you money. It saves everybody money if we keep the costs down. And when you call me, we just have to make an appointment. And if you call me, I'm going to be in an appointment. I can't talk to you anyways. So... I'm asking for your indulgence. Let's do it this way. And it's working good for everybody because then when you have your appointment, it's one-on-one, -on -one, uninterrupted. You get full attention one-on-one -on -one how to do this. Over the years, you only need one or two appointments and you're good to go pretty well forever. Unless you're not making money every 90 days, make another appointment. And then we have a checklist that we go over to get you going. So how is that conducted, that appointment? It's conducted with GoToMeeting. 10 minutes before your time, you click on webinar workshops and sit in front of your computer. You can be at home, you can be at the office, you can be any place in the world. I'm doing seminars, brokers in Florida, Costa Rica, it doesn't matter, any place in the world. One-on-one -on -one workshops, no matter where you are. And by the way, I did it from Cuba last week. I never knew I could do it from there because I did it once before and it didn't work. It was like the old, but the telephone, you can now go to Cuba for 12 bucks and be just like you are here right now. I don't know if you know that, for $12 a day? Yeah, you're roaming. You're, you're roaming. It, it works in Cuba though. And like if people didn't know, I had even my own family members didn't realize it works in Cuba. It works in Cuba now, 12 bucks a day. And the internet service, 
they say it's LTE, but it was six megabytes up, six megabytes down. It wasn't fast like we are here, but it was working. And then we're going to, uh, in your first appointment, we're going to send you the instructions to you to, for your website designer to install the links. So we send you the instructions, you forward them to who's your website designer? Okay, so we just send the instructions to you and you can install it. And if you have any trouble, who can you call? You just call us, okay? Any trouble, you just call us because we have a solution for basically 100% of anything that you need help on. And then to add your listings, you just click on member login. And when you log in, all of the choices are here on the left. You just click on add have want, and you just log in here. And hope I remember my password. Let's make it a little longer here. <coughs> And you click on the add have want. And then I think you had a property coming. Where is it here? Coming for sale. I'm not going to worry about mistakes or anything, okay? I'm not putting this listing in, but you had a listing in Keswick. Uh, it was a home, $1.2 million. Okay, hang on. And you click on Canada, Ontario. What's Keswick near? Oh, okay. So, you know, you might even choose maybe New Market. I don't know. It's near New Market or York Region. Okay. And then you come down here and hang on one second. And you come down here and you can put in type description. It's a home, uh, Keswick. And then 1,200,000. And then what we usually do is copy that. It's that simple, really. Copy that and put this in the comments area down here. Now, one thing we do do, we have a special internet links box where we suggest that you put a link to Keswick here. This is something very special. I have a saying that 90% of the brokers are missing the boat on the internet because they're not paying attention to the three most important words in real estate, location, location. <coughs> Excuse me location <clears throat> so i'm going to try to find the keswick what uh keswick hmm. they don't have their own website georgina okay so i'm going to suggest that when you market on our service that you put a link to this website in the listing and that's because we get people from 138 countries of the world do they know anything about keswick might be a beautiful property but i don't know where it is so they just go buy it but if you have this picture here, <clears throat> now snowman might nice, that might scare people because it's so cold, I don't know. But usually what we do is we go to another spot within the website, either discover Georgina or doing business, like invest in Georgina. That's the one I'm looking for. I'm, I'm suggesting that this could be a good website to link to in your listings when you advertise them on the internet. So then people can learn all about Georgina. Isn't that wonderful? Georgina offers lakeside living, close proximity to Toronto, perfect pairing, cottage country feel and urban convenience. Uh, the town is poised for growth over the next few years, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It really talks about the town and sounds great. Like if they're going to locate someplace in Canada, why not Georgina, right? They could get excited about it. So you're helping to market the location of your properties by putting that link in. What you do is you simply copy that link and you go back to the listing and you click on add link. And we have a standard link here for Toronto, by the way, which I'm going to show you in a minute. And when you paste your link for Georgina in there, it'll go right into this box and it'll be in your listing for you. I'll show you the link. We've shown you the link for Georgina. Let me show you the link that we put in all our listings for Toronto. Isn't this nice? People come to one of your Toronto listings, they can get excited right away. Strong economy, competitive city, etc. This helps to market the location of your property to the world.
I think it's uh, everybody appreciates putting that link. So that's another idea. This is an educational seminar that you can use a lot of these tools in your existing business right now. But here's the big deal. You come down to this item called control right down here. There it is. As of today, you are no longer restricted. I think, I don't know if you can see MLS right there, but there's other choices here, exclusive. Uh, you know, regular client. In this case, this is a regular client of yours, right? So I would choose regular client right there. And then that gives you an opportunity to have something working for you on the internet. You can, when the people call you, you tell them that I have to put an agreement in place first, but I should be getting the listing sign in about another month. Once I get the listing sign, I'll put your name on a list and you can be one of the first people that I'll call once I get the listing signed. How does that sound, right? Isn't that wonderful? Now, one last thing. Here's the other big deal, the sharing of listings. Every single listing here has a, a, a question at the bottom. It took us three years just to, to do this for all our 30,000 listings. Will you allow your listings to be advertised on other brokers' websites? If another broker brings you a buyer, would you work with them? Then you should be answering yes to everything. 99% of our brokers answer yes. When you add the listing, you click on latest world residential in the, on the left and bingo, your listing would be up here right at the top. These are the listings coming in one by one all day long. Here's one in Stouffville, for instance. This listing just came in, $7 million property. It's an agricultural property. And there it is. Now this one, if you look at it, you see that where it says control? It happens to be MLS in this case. It happens to be on MLS. So if you have an MLS listing, you can advertise it on here. Okay, so that's how that works. And that's what all you basically do is add listings from time to time and search from time to time, show properties and kind of go from there. That um, basically we've covered the three special questions and we've covered uh, RICO. We've covered how to handle calls when people call you. I have one question for you before you go to test you. If I said I had an ESO, uh, an ESO gas station in Lindsay, does that give it away? Does that identify the property or not? How many people say yes? How many people say no? How many? All the rest don't know then. Okay, I'm gonna ask, ask, ask again. Remember I said, if you don't have a listing on a property, you've got to disguise it. Now, if I said I had a property in Lindsay, an Esso gas station, does that give it away? How many people say yes? Mm -hmm. uh, two, and how many people say no? Okay, the yeses have it. This is an educational session workshop for brokers. Why do the yeses have it? Just because Lindsay is a small town and if you want <coughs> There's only one SO gas station in Lindsay. So you just gave it away. Okay, good thinking. If I said I had a restaurant at the corner of Mississauga and that street, does that give it away? How many people say yes? How many people say no? The yeses yeah, have it. Yeah. Why do the yeses have it? Because it's giving the intersection. Of, of the but what if there's three restaurants yeah. there? Well, out of the three, it has to be one. That's right. How long does it talk to talk to three? How long does it take to talk to three owners of a restaurant? Mm -hmm. Half an hour. So you just gave it away. So you have to be careful. If I said I had a home next to the Pizza Pizza at the corner of Alton and Bloor, does that give it away? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to be careful when you're doing exclusive information not to give it away. Okay. So for Lindsay, what would you do? You would say, that's a good question. You would say branded gas station, branded gas station rather than SO, mm -hmm. you know, maybe 90 minutes to Toronto. Got it? Okay. So whenever you have exclusive information, if you're not sure, you can always run it by us. Okay, we support all websites with these widgets. So no matter which, there's 32 <coughs> website companies in the business, we support them all. They all know how to install our widgets on your website on the menu. You could have more than one website. They're like billboards. 
and you can link them together. And if they're all generating leads, why not? How to promote your website? That's uh, that monthly webinar that I showed you, you can listen to online. Adding, modifying, deleting listings. I just showed how to add a listing just a little while ago. We do recommend that you never let your listings go longer than 90 days old. Search haves and wants from time to time, and you can work all of this. Does anybody here do any pre-construction? VIP condos, assignments, all of that kind of stuff is done here. And we've got lots of testimonials by all kinds of people in the industry. Posting your have wants on a regular basis whenever you get them. So that takes like four or five minutes from time to time, that's it. And then search on your computer from time to time. And uh, for ICI World, um, no, basically it's, um, I'm gonna get into that now. Can everyone look at the uh, application form? Can you, and Doris and Alex, can you make sure they all have the application form? Basically, um, there's a special today after you see the application form. Normally, how much is it on application up here, Alex? We need another one here. Does anyone not have the application? 319 is what it is normally. Okay, she's got it, she found it. Okay, we got it. And the special is 240. But we have an extra special that is available right here, and I'm gonna show it to you. If you go on your mobile phone, and go to this particular website here, nreils.com. For the people at home, you might not see it. I could actually bring it up on the screen for people at home. It's called nreils.com. See if I can bring it up here somehow. Uh, I gotta get to, uh, uh, hang on, here we go. Let's go to nreils.com. If you go to this website that I'm going to bring up on the screen in a moment, it's chugging away and working, you get an extra special. And if somebody can go there now and tell me how much it is, you click on join today at nreils.com on your mobile phone. And you can tell me how much it is. Anybody see if anybody can do it. Say it out loud. 240 for 18 months. If you're able to do that on your own mobile phone, you can do that now if you're interested in joining today or you can do it at a later time because you've been in the seminar and you're going to get 18 months service for 240. We actually provide websites. We actually have one of the busiest booths at RealtorQuest. Does anybody here attend RealtorQuest? Very good, right? Every single person in real estate should attend RealtorQuest. Why? It comes once a year, May 27th, 28th, I believe it is this year. We have a booth. ICI World has a booth at that show. We have one of the busiest booths at the whole show. And the reason is that we make a statement that you could have a $30,000 website, and it's not as powerful as the websites we're supplying from ICI World for $16.50. That's it? That's it per month. Month. Yeah, it's actually free for one. It's actually free for one month. So if you wanted a website from ICI World, they actually are free for one month. At the end of the month, you have a choice. If you want to keep it, it's nineteen dollars per month, no contract, or you pay one ninety nine for the year. If you divide that by twelve, it works out to sixteen dollars and fifty cents. So that website is just like for real estate agents. Real estate. It's got. It's got the. ICI World, we are an official installer of the TREB MLS IDX link for websites. So we're an official installer. We've been doing it for 10 years. We've been helping them develop it with their security features, SSL certificates and stuff. And we're actually an official installer of the MLS for your website. So we install the MLS. So you're going to have MLS on your website. You're going to have all the listings from other brokers that belong to this website company. Plus, you're going to have all the exclusive listings from ICI World. You're going to have MLS, you're going to have exclusive, you're going to have residential, commercial, you're going to have color photos, slideshow displays. And it's wonderful. It's all SEO. Yeah. SEO is something that you, number one thing that all brokers should be aware of is you should be promoting your website on a regular basis almost every day to everybody you talk to. Okay. 
And I'm gonna give you a marketing plan right now. Here's the marketing plan that we're suggesting. This is something you can do. And uh, what I'm gonna do here, <clears throat> hang on one second. Okay, hang on. Let's go to uh, Okay, here's a Remax website that I'm bringing up on the screen here. And uh, we're going to recommend that you try to get your mobile website onto the phones of everybody you know as a shortcut. Now, this is an Android. Who's got an Android in here? Who's got the Androids? All the Android people? Just two? The other ones are iPhones? Okay, I'm going to show the iPhones in a minute. Okay, this website, let's pretend this is your website. Would it be nice for every single person in your sphere of influence, everybody you know? Yep. You know, the last wedding you were at, can you imagine if everybody at that wedding, that's your sphere of influence, if everybody at that wedding had your mobile website on their phone? Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you how to do it. At the top right corner, by the way, can everyone, and this is going to be a good exercise for everyone to do. I'm going to have you do it with uh, NREILS.com. Can you bring up NREILS.com on your mobile phones? And I'm going to show the, uh, the iPhone people, like all the, uh, the Apple computers, how to do it. But I'm going to start with the Androids. If you can bring up NREILS.com. Bring that up on your phone. There it is here, people. You can see it right there. NREILS.com. Yes. If you can see it right there. And when you get it on your phone, show it to me. Dot com. Hang on. You're ahead of me even. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. I've got one so far. Okay, two. Good show. Three, I need three more. Okay, you've got it, got it. Okay, everybody's got it coming. All right, here's at the top right corner on an Android, there are three little dots. Click on the three little dots. On an iPhone, it's a little up arrow at the bottom of your screen on your phone. Um, okay, Doris and Alex, can you go around and help them with the iPhones? There's a little up share button, a share button down at the bottom in the middle. Click on that. Yes. Click on that. Okay. And look for add to home screen. Now, in your case, slide over. Just, to, just slide over. There's going to be a plus sign. Just move. Oh, it's not there. Maybe you have to go up. Oh, boy. Um, oh, you got it? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and open it. Good, good, show. Sure. Yeah, that's good. That's a shortcut. But where is the ad to? Mine is not. No, no, no. A Alex, you got to show her in front of her, okay? Just a moment. Oh, yeah. You you should let her do it, Alex. Add to home screen? Add to home screen. Oh, I see. Okay. You are book, uh, bookmarking. No, uh, no. We are not bookmarking, people. We're not bookmarking. We're adding it to the home screen. That's a big difference. Now, I'm going to show you why this is so important. Okay, so you've got it. See if you can go find it now. There's going to be a little icon someplace on your phone, usually on the last page. Okay, now, you can move it. You know how to move it to the front page? You know how to do that. Okay. Now, when you open it, it takes you maybe a second or two to open. Click on, uh, you can't see the menu bar here. Okay, uh, click on the menu. Click on search. Click on residential. Click on search database. Search database. These are the latest listings coming in every day. If you don't search the latest listings every day, you can be missing doing deals and not realize it. Yeah. 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 
And reels, that's where you are. Yes. And that doesn't no. No, that's free for the public. Okay, now does anybody not have it on their phone? I want you to show me your, your phone with the little icon on it. Okay. Okay, can you ask Alex? Um, Alex, can you help her too? And Doris, can uh, they've got it here. They've got it here. You gotta help them on that side. Now here's people, this is important. This is important. I'll wait till I got that because this is important what I'm about to say. Yes. This is this is important what I'm about to say, okay? Now you'll notice that there's some apps, apps, APPS on the phone. But that one is a shortcut. It looks like an app. This is an important distinction. I'll tell you why. Some people might not want to put your website on their phone because they think it's an app. In the past, did you used to have a problem if you add too many apps, the phone is going dead by two o'clock in the afternoon? Did you ever have that problem, anybody here? We all had it. So some people might not want to put your website on their phone because they think it's going to drain their battery because they're not ready to buy real estate today. <coughs> you tell them it uses zero resources, zero. It doesn't use resources. You tell them it's not an app. It's a shortcut. Shortcuts use zero resources. Got that? That was, it's important. Otherwise, some people might not want to put it. So can you imagine now, if you have 100 people, what are we, January? We're in January. By the end of this year, December, could you get 100 people to put your mobile website on their phone? When you go out with the girls or you go for lunch with people, you tell them, by the way, bring out your phone. I'm going to show you how to search real estate on my website. And you show them how to put a shortcut on their phone where they can search real estate anytime they want. They just have to click on it. Bingo. Up comes the website. And then they can do a searches, searches for real estate right there. And you remind them, 90% of the millionaires made it in real estate. <laughs> Isn't that, was that a neat little exercise to learn that? Did you, do you like that? Yeah. Okay. Now, before you leave, there is an evaluation form here. Can everyone fill out the evaluation form? Can you make sure everyone's got a copy, Doris and uh, Alex, right now? Yeah. The evaluation form. There's an evaluation form first. Let's yeah. fill this out, if you don't mind. Yeah. It should be an evaluation form. I think you've got it. Well, I just want to do the evaluation form first. <coughs> if you don't mind filling that in, taking one minute in consideration of my time to come here. Um, I really appreciate the feedback that you give me here. And uh, if you could just fill it in, take a moment for one minute to fill this out. I really appreciate it. I'm going to stay around as long as anybody wants uh, for more questions. If anybody wants to join now or later, it's up to you. Um, I'm the manager of the society and we love to have you aboard, but everyone can do it at their own pace. So we could talk about the website. Yes, we can. I'll talk about that after. But I really appreciate having this feedback. It's very good of you. And I want to thank you in advance for having this feedback from you.
you can just put them all on the front table here when you're finished. You can put them face down. Uh, right here, face down. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. And we're going to, I'll just mention one more thing as you're leaving. It's okay to go. You're going to notice something special here called a corporate VIP card. If I can show you that. This corporate VIP card is something that we're now giving out to members this year. It literally is hundreds of dollars of discounts throughout the year. Average discount is probably 100 to 140, $200. In other words, if you use this discount card throughout the year, you can actually save more than the $240 joining the service. Uh, there, we do have a $30 option by the month too, by the way, if somebody wants. But this corporate card is uh, wonderful. So anybody new joining today will get this. If you join in the future, we send it to you by email. Okay, so you can still get it if you don't join today. And that completes my session oh, for today. Have a draw for the... Oh, we're having a draw for one of these. Yeah, so okay. okay, so if we can have your business card. And where's that little jar? You should have that little jar, uh, Alex. Where did he put it? Uh, Doris, there's a little jar that we have. If if everyone can give uh, uh, Doris the, uh, the your business card, we'll have a little draw right now. When you, when you go on the website and you register, yes. Uh, basically, we just provide you with our uh, website address or URL. Is that what it is? There's a little application form, which is basically your business card information. Okay. That's it. And then you make an appointment. If anybody joins today, you make an appointment before we leave. That way, I know I can get you started. We have a, an orientation file. And um, where's Alex? Uh, oh, he just went to the Okay, because we need uh, the orientation file right now. Oh, it's on there. Like, it's in everyone's package. I know. I just wanted to show it to them. The orientation file, when you join, is, are the complete instructions on how to get started. Uh, I was checking on the website. There's no space for the credit card information. <laughs> there is once you click at register. Yeah. Okay, and then um, once you do join, uh, the two things we want to do, you can get a copy of this. Um, VIP card right away. We can give it to you or mail it to you later. And then um, you you make an appointment before you leave. Make an appointment now. You can make it even for February. And then that way it's a one-on-one -on -one appointment to make sure we get you properly orientated, get you up and running, working, iron out all the bugs, make you feel comfortable, answer more questions. But this orientation has all the instructions. You can actually get started right away. It's got all the instructions, like a pilot's checklist for a broker. Even though a pilot is a professional, they still have a checklist. This is the checklist for our members to ensure they take full advantage of everything going on here. We've had some people that got started, but they didn't install the widgets. They didn't remember. This is all in here to remind you of each thing. All this stuff, believe it or not, is a one-time setup. Once you set it up, there's only two things you do. Add listings from time to time, search on your phone from time to time, make an appointment, go show property and make some money. Get the leads off your website. There's really nothing to do other than add a listing from time to time and search from time to time. But to know what to do, that's why we have this appointment with you to make sure that you're doing what is necessary. If you're not making money every 90 days or triggering leads every 90 days, who do you call? You better. Make an appointment. You make an appointment. Is <laughs> yeah, good. You're right. <laughs> now, there's one thing. When you make an appointment, you get into the appointment from your office, home office, or business office, ten minutes before your time. 
if you have any kind of trouble, I'm giving you my private direct cell phone number. That's the one time I want you to call me. I insist that you call me within one minute of your appointment time. If there's some connection not working or something not working, you call this number right away. That number is, and if you wanna mark it down, it's the 416214 number, 4875. If you want, it's on the card here too as well. Do you need, would that help? Yeah. 416. Can I, uh, use that uh, corporate card to buy a whole bunch of Curtis Plus tickets that I gave for gifts from my aunt? Yeah, I think you buy 10 tickets for like $100, $100 and then normally 180 you save $80 buying Cineplex tickets with this corporate card. So if you save 80 there, it's like your membership was like 160 bucks if you take off 80 And a couple of more deals and then you just got your membership for free. It's crazy not to join really when you think about it. That's why we tried to make it that way. You know, we're like the automobile club. We like to, anytime we get new services, we put them into the membership. I know a company that, uh, you know, Phil Rossi, when he travels to other countries. Oh, yeah. It's a dollar a day, anywhere in the world you go. And then. Have you tried it out? Well, yeah. <laughs> and it works? It works. It's the app. It's just an app that you install on your phone. And then it's really good for real. Is it good for texting, but is it good for talking? For talking. Okay. It's a dollar a day. Well, WhatsApp, you can talk for free what if you're on Wi Fi. Uh, no, but you can. Yeah. Uh, okay. My, it's friend of mine called. I'd like to know about that. I'd like to check it out. I'll check it out. There's a right away. I'm going to, by the way, by, you don't get internet on that. It's just for calling. Well, that's good. Every, you know, at one time, believe it or not, the websites that we supply used to be three, four thousand dollars back in the late nineties. Brokers and Remax. I remember Remax broker. He wanted the best and uh, color photos and everything. He spent three thousand bucks to get it. Today, thirty, thirty-four dollars a month, you can get websites, beautiful websites, and we've got them from as low as we have two levels of websites: one for sixteen dollars, one for thirty-four. And I'll tell you both of those later. Thank you for having me, people. I really appreciate it. Okay, go ahead. Everyone's got their card in there. Okay. All right. Okay, I'll give her the card here. It's okay to give her the card. Uh, Oh, sure uh, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. There you go. Now, if you need any help with your card, just make an appointment. I'll show you how to use it. I, I will. I okay. will. Okay, we'll do it over. You. It's over the internet. Okay. Thank you. So okay. Much. Now, is there anyone thinking of joining today? Or, okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. All right. And then if you're thinking of joining. I'm in transition, so I'm not okay. coming to the summit. Yeah, tomorrow. Okay. So I guess I have to make a decision for the month of March, but that's I have students that don't have their license yet that join right away. So we can give you full access. You just won't be allowed to place an ad until he says. No, uh, let's, let's uh, change the question. Her website is going to change, and she yeah. changed the widgets from existing website to the <coughs> website. Oh, yeah. yeah. You can, all kinds because of things can be changed. Thing, right? okay. Yes. So the I'm answer is yes. I'm yeah. Still... I can, there's a lot of different questions that you need answered, so just make an appointment with us, and I'll show you how to handle it all. I'll make suggestions. We're your assistant, and we want what's best for you. So, yeah. You don't need to install it on the website right away. You can still start working on the system. And you know, posting or searching. She can't post yet until she's totally transferred, right? No, no, no she can't because she's already working with Royal Locate right now. Yes. So if she has her own account, then yeah. she can definitely. Yeah, then once you join, if you join here, then you just switch. Okay. No problem. Yeah. No problem. Okay. Yeah.
Oh, Pardon me? Sure. Sure. Oh, good. Oh, where's all the cards that we collected today? Okay. you can start putting things away now. I didn't get everyone's uh, evaluation sheet. There's still, oh, here's a couple here. There they are. Are there any more evaluations? Are those evaluations? Do you know? Oh, okay, hang on. Evaluations, these. Ray. Uh, these evaluations, you want to make a photocopy. Sure. Keep a copy for yourself and then you give me the other ones back. Yeah, we can do that too. <coughs> oh, I should have actually stopped this uh, some time ago. Sorry. And. Okay, hang on, let me stop this recording, stop the recording.